But now it's time to up the ante and show you how to make a French bistro classic, tarte au citron. But before I get to that, we have to start with the cookie crust. It's known as sablé dough, and it really is a delicate, tender crust, but nice and crispy so it can hold in that lemon curd filling. I've got half a cup of unsalted butter with the addition of two tablespoons, so five ounces in total. I'll add the same measurement, half a cup plus two tablespoons of icing sugar and sift that in. Although I'm using this dough as a base for a tart, the method is actually similar to making any cookie dough, so I'll cream the butter and the sugar together. There we go. So I'm going to add in first a single egg yolk. In addition to the raw egg yolk, I need to add a hard boiled egg yolk. And you can use a fine grater or a sieve to finely grate it into the butter sugar mixture. I'll add half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and just blend this together. The combination of the raw egg yolk plus the hard boiled egg yolk helps give this a nice tender but dense texture so it can hold in that lemon curd filling. And while sifting, I'll add a quarter teaspoon of salt. Give this a quick sift. I'll add it all at once to the butter egg mixture and blend it together. And there we go. You can see how the dough has come together just like a cookie dough. I have a disc that has already chilled, and you can see how much firmer it is already. Even though I've put cake and pastry flour in the dough, whenever you're rolling out dough, you should use all purpose. It will not absorb into the dough as quickly as cake and pastry flour while you're rolling. Small, gentle motions, I roll out the dough, rotating it as I roll. If at this point you're rolling out the dough and you do find it starts cracking on you, you can shape it up into a disc again, give it a little knead to soften it, and roll again. The traditional tart pan you use for a tart au citron is a removable bottom fluted tart tin. And a sable dough like this is designed to fit into a straight-sided pan because it holds its shape beautifully. I can lift it up and then just press it into the fluted edge. I'll just gently fold out the edges and use my rolling pin to trim away the excess dough. Then before I chill it, I dock it with a fork that allows for expansion and also prevents any air bubbles from forming underneath. I have a shell that has already chilled, so the butter has set and it's ready for the oven. I've preheated the oven to 325 and it takes about 20 minutes. Just like a sugar cookie, you should see a nice golden brown just around the edge of the pastry. So the first thing I have is three whole eggs. And in addition to that, three egg yolks. So you really get that beautiful, rich, lemony color. To the eggs, I'll add three quarters of a cup of sugar. And to this, I'll add the lemon. I've got four whole lemons here. Two that I already zested earlier for the first lemon curd, but I'll zest another one to get about a tablespoon of lemon zest. I'll cut them all in half. A great tool to squeeze your lemons is this bar juicer. You drop in the lemon, but you actually turn it upside down because then that allows the juice to come through these holes. Pop out the lemon and away you go. I need two thirds of a cup of lemon juice and I do like to strain it just to get out any excess pulp or little seeds that might have slipped through. I'll add this to my eggs. So first I'll mix the eggs with the lemon juice and sugar. Then you can add the butter. I have two thirds of a cup of butter. The butter will slowly melt into the curd. And it takes about five minutes for the curd to thicken up. 
All right. I can tell my curd is done. Now we need to strain the lemon curd and halt the cooking process. So what I've done is measured half a cup of full-fat sour cream into the bottom of my bowl. This is still quite warm, and as you can see, fluid. So I want to work with it while it is still warm. My tart shell should be ready from the oven. I have that beautiful golden brown right around the edge of the tart. And you want to fill the tart while it's cooled. So I'll set this one aside, and I have one already made that has cooled down completely. If you were to pour a hot filling into a hot pastry shell, well, the pastry would just absorb that filling. It becomes soggy. Now that it's cooled, and while this is still warm, I fill the tart shell. And this is textbook tart au citron. So I'll chill it down. It takes about two hours for it to set in the fridge. I have a tart that's fully chilled. Put this one in the fridge. And you can see how easily the sablé crust releases from the shell. You get that sense of the crunch, that sandiness in the tart shell. And I find a lemon tart like this is perfect after a rich meal. Look at that beautiful curd, creamy and rich. 